Hi Scorpio, welcome to your monthly scopes. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what it feels right and with what resonates with your own life experiences at the moment. So for the month of August, I'll be using a spread called Diamond Spread, which intends to bring to awareness possible energies wanting to be manifested through you. And the month of August seems like there's a real big desire to make something happen, to move, to act, to be the, even uh, impulsive in um, trying to reach towards something, trying to fight for something, trying to move in some sense your energy, your desire, your passion, your drive, because you're feeling the need, the deep need to do so. And this may come, this may come from a sense that an awareness that there's something in you that needs to be liberated. There's this deep well of energy wanting to be uh, pierced out into the world. And uh, this could be a very intense energetically uh, month where you feel really deep feelings, really deep strong instinct, instinct desires to um, push forward. And at the same time, you have a lot of fire and then you have earth. So usually those two elements are not, uh, are not as friendly with each other or they don't blend as, as easily as fire with air, for example. But there's always a possibility of integration when we become aware of what, uh, of what each element represents towards our life experiences at the moment. So fire is drive, is action, is making things happen, is not being careful, is not being thoughtful, is just doing it. It's just moving through instinct. Earth is quiet, it's grounded, it's careful, it has a plan, it's thoughtful. It wants to experience the process step by step because it likes to know where he stands. So you can see how both elements can create some sense of tension because they are opposite. But um, the sense of earth or the sense of first, the fire coming first. So maybe you begin the month because you have intensity card. And you begin the month wanting to um, take charge of all of the that energy you feel inside of you wanting to um, come forward. So maybe you have been down, maybe you have been cut off of your energies, maybe you have been feeling really tired or depleted, depleted of your vital force. And now you recuperate that. Now you have a, a, a possibility in the month of August to really recharge those batteries and feel much more alive in a really raw sense. And um, you are very impulsive and you are very driven to accomplish things right now. And um, this beginning the month, the card beginning the month, and is the main issue, the main focus. It's really about doing, you wanting to live things intensely. You wanting to live your life right now in a very, very intense way, which usually it's your own uh, nature. Usually, in a more uh, watery, watery sense, because you're um, you're a water sign, but you are as well ruled by Mars. So, and Pluto, and both of them are this warrior, warrior, fiery energy. So, even though your main domain is water, when you want to access to fire, you can be even better than Aries. You can be twice as powerful as Aries or Leo or Sagittarius in the fiery realm. So really pay attention to your desires in the month of August. Pay attention to what you're trying to do with this intense energy, with this dramatic energy, with this passionate energy wanting to come forward because you have an opportunity to push forward and to create something amazing, creatively amazing. So if you're wanting, for example, to launch some type of creative project, this is the perfect time to do that because you have to drive, because you have um, that force with you wanting to be manifested through self-expression of your spirit, fire rule spirit. So it's being really uh, going with your gut feeling. And the energy, the unconscious energy working with this card 
that you are not aware of is nothingness. So you've reached a point probably lately where you have lost um you you have lost something that gave you this feeling of emptiness, of nothingness. It gave you this feeling of being closed or trapped in a dark room. Maybe you realize that all of your ideas, all of your belief systems, all of what you hold dear until that moment were uh, lies, were not in connection with who you are. And then they left, you had to erase them, you have to let them go, and you felt like you had nothing left. You fell into this state of um, emptiness. But now in the month of August, you are taking opportunity, your unconscious self is taking opportunity of that vacuum, of that empty space, to create something extraordinarily new. And this is a trick with this card, nothingness, is that in the nothingness, in the apparent um, darkness, in the... Um, clean canvas we can create whatever picture whatever uh design we want for our lives because we have nothing there so we have room to create whatever we want to create and you are wanting and you are desiring to create so much because you have so much energy with you you have so much passion with you wanting to put colors you see how many colors are in this card i don't know if you can see it clearly but there's so many vibrant colors in this card and then here there's nothing so you wanting unconsciously what's driving you is this unconscious need to fulfill that emptiness with your own colors what are your real colors what's the picture of your life of the life you envision right now uh, and what you're doing about it is questions for the month of August. The external influences that you may be aware of is living day by day and experiencing existence as they are. And there's a lot of orange energy here, reds and yellows. So it's fire, it's energy, it's doing things even though, um, yeah, this is also a fire card, sorry. Um, there's this deep desire to experience life at another level. There's this deep desire to just uh, have, you know, have some sense of victory, some sense of win coming to you finally. And maybe you have that opportunity coming in the month of August, especially connected with things you start doing. Things, you changes, actions, decisions, whatever it is that you start acting upon. It's time to act. It's time to do. It's time to... Um, live your life in a much more um, fulfilling way towards what you perceive as fulfilling. Maybe, again, I feel also that there is this big creative energy with you. Maybe you're trying to create something. You're trying to create that new life project, that new relationship, that new hobby, that new whatever. It's That newness is just full of so much colors, full of so much life. And it's amazing because it's what you need right now to um, to recover, to heal from what you've lost because it wasn't a loss. And now maybe you start perceiving that it was not a loss because you will start seeing the month of August if you really connect with this energy that you gained so much, so much with that darkness coming to you in a couple of months because. Now you have an opportunity to live much more fully, much more fulfillingly, much more willingly, much more in touch with uh, your passions and your desires. And experiencing existence, this card, this tree of fire, it's really about outside. You start realizing, you are conscious right now that there's many opportunities lying out there. And it's tr you're just uh, trying to understand during the month of August to which direction you want to go, but you are going and you have your mindset that you are going, despite the fact that you have already the decision of the destination, you know that you are going towards a different direction, and you are aware, consciously aware, that there are many opportunities lying out there, that the world is your playground right now, and you have this deep desire to push forward and experience every single thing of your life right now with 
passion, with intensity, with depth. And the, what will help you, the support to this, um, to this energy is breakthrough. So a lot of orange, a lot of bursting, a lot of intensity, a lot of drama, a lot of passion. This breakthrough card, again, is really tied with this situation because um, in order for us to, ha to have this release, this burst of energy, this breakthrough, we many times have to go through a breakdown. And you have been there already in the past. So you are resurfacing, you are coming out. You're having this deep desire to come out of that. What didn't went wrong, what left, the sorrow or the guilt you still hold inside of you. And just doing something, doing something with those feelings. I think you have accumulated so much, so much feelings inside of you. So much emotional um, beauty in all of that you have experienced lately, even if you don't perceive them as beautiful. Your soul perceives them as beautiful. They are feeding your soul, but as well, you know, we all have to feed our soul and recycle. Recycle the energies we keep, um, we keep getting, uh, we keep getting inside of our bodies and inside of our souls, so then they can come out and uh, be manifested as creative force for us to drive us to do something about our lives, and then they will come back again, and then they will recycle and go out again, as all the cycles of the moon, they teach us that. All the four cycles of the moon during the, the process of a month, they teach us that. And now you are in the process of, boom, release. You are in the process of culmination, of illumination, of the full moon stage. Maybe the full moon in the month of August will be important for you this month. Maybe there's something calling for you so deeply that you will burst. You will release you will have this magnificent energy spreading out shedding light into yourself into others into every single um aspect that you desire to shed light upon and people will notice in you this uh, intense energy people will notice how magnetic how beautiful how sexy how sensual you are becoming because you are getting closer to that intense personality intense core you have already inside of you because you are getting out of the depth of the waters you were and you are breathing again and you are enjoying the breath and feeling this need to just do something to uh, give a meaning to the experiences you were uh, under lately of course this can always uh, go both ways and maybe it's it's about you being careful being careful with your temper as well. So balance is important in all aspects. And maybe if you go, if you're not conscious aware of this energy, what will happen is either you'll try to suppress it and you'll try to contain it and you'll try to be in that state of nothingness, um, or you will go over the board and you will not be aware of these feelings and you will just overreact towards anything and you will act without uh without a real connection with your motives because we all can act and do inst uh, and do um rash uh decisions but it's really uh those decisions are rarely really connected with our deepest desires and our deepest truths in that matter usually that happens because the energy gets stuck and then when it releases, it releases out of proportion and out of awareness. And then it spreads and it flames up everything everything around it. So be careful as well with that. All you want to do is be really, uh, really mindful of your desires right now because they will run. They will run highly this month. So that can be manifested to your use or that can be manifested to the detriment of your life. And it's really always about you being aware of what the real desires for you, the real passions, what drives you to move, um, are wanting to uh, tell you about yourself. I wanted to tell you about the direction of your life until this moment. As well, because the out outcome of all this, um, 
the energy you are getting and lending to is ordinary. The ordinary feeling of life and being okay with it. What I mean is the outcome of all of this is you will get closer to your skills. You will get closer to feeling uh, your daily life uh, as a fulfilling one. So I feel you begin the month of August really uh, energetic, really dry, driven to conquer something, to do something, to act upon something. And then as the, the month comes to its end, you will start to ground yourself. Because what this is trying to do is you're, you're trying to break, have a breakthrough of this energy, uh, high energy. Because it will allow you to live your daily life. It will allow you to live those ordinary tasks with much more connection with what you want to do with your daily life. And as well, recognizing that that stimulation, that agitation can be found, can be resolved within the things um you do in your daily life when you are just in touch with that those desires and when you pour and see love and beauty into every single thing you do as simple as washing the dishes we can find joy and moments of happiness in those simple tasks and this can be really hard when you desire so much intensity so much drama so you have this peak of energy and then you 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 start to slowly, gradually, that's the point of the month of August, to harvest that peak of energy into the things of your daily life, into the things you like to do, into the things you need to work on as matters of your skills. Maybe you're really trying to put this creative project into your work life. You're trying to, do, to make a hobby into a possibility of business. Or you're just wanting to experience your daily life in a much more um, desirable way. Either way, you come to the state of awareness that that happiness and that stimulation you seek and that energy you seek can be found anywhere when you are in, in connection with those feelings inside, inwardly. So uh, your daily life will be a reflection of that. You will find much more sources of stimulation and energy and passion and intensity when inside of you you have that balanced out when inside of you you acknowledge where where does that drive that need really comes from what's the root cause of this and when you do and when you rediscover and the more you dwell deep into your nature the more you'll see that your talents your opportunities in creative pursuits will be much more present and much more regular present for you to um, recognize and get closer to because it's really up up, up uh, to the work you do this month in matters of following your passion and following your desires so scorpio i wish you a great month thank you for listening liking and subscribing and hopefully we'll see each other next month